busy. Let's go. Hello, welcome back. So, uh, let's talk quickly about swim caps and should you get one or wear one. So, you probably noticed that I don't really wear swim caps in my videos. So, first of all, you gotta think about what this is for. Originally, this is for like protecting your hair and helping you swim faster. That's about it. When it comes to protecting your hair, it does not get the chlorine all out of your hair. Okay, so water is gonna seep into your hair no matter what, ladies. No matter what kind of swim cap, no matter how tight it is, you will get water. And it's supposed to get your water, your hair wet before putting on your swim cap because uh, it's just good for circulation, okay? You shouldn't put this on with dry hair and then go right into the water. No, it's, that's, that's just unhygienic, okay? When you wear a swim cap, make sure you, you wash your hair, or rinse your hair, then you put it on. My swim cap, it's like a, I don't know what can you call it, like a little bag. And I got some water in there, put some water in here. And that water helps get my swim cap on a lot easier, okay? So you just pull. Don't be afraid to pull on the sides like this. Okay, this thing is supposed to be very flexible and stretchy, okay? So don't be afraid to pull. Pull it around. And usually it goes below my eyebrows, like this. So just lift it up like that. All right, make sure it's snug around the back sides, and that's it. And then afterwards, I put my goggles on. Like this. Okay, make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, and that's what you look like when you're swimming, like this. I don't like this form actually, <laughs> okay, for two reasons. One is that you notice that my ears right here, this is very annoying, okay? I just don't like this feeling of my ears being compressed tightly, okay? It's very uncomfortable when I swim. Two, this, wearing this on top of your head creates like an oven, okay? So just imagine like you're, you're jogging on a treadmill for, for like on maximum setting and you're sweating and that heat is coming out of your top of your head like that, right? But you're, you're not wearing anything on top usually, right? You just have your open head. But when you wear a swim cap when you're swimming, the same thing in fact happens. When you're swimming, you're, you're, you're burning up calories, you're, you're overheating. And that heat is just trapped in your head. Okay, so right now it's really hot inside here. You don't notice this when you're leisure swimming, but when you're really going hard at it, when you're doing front crawl or whatever, this gets annoying, okay? This gets annoyingly hot. So, ugh, ugh. Usually I swim without a swim cap, okay? But will it help you swim faster? Will it help you with your performance? Yeah, absolutely. And when I put this on my head, I noticed that my head becomes a lot lighter in the water. Okay, so it, it helps with the buoyancy as aspect, okay? Helps, helps my head become much lighter in the water and it creates, you know, just like that, that nose from an airplane, you know, the, the nose of an airplane, it just helps disperse the water evenly on the top of your head because your head becomes the bullet of whatever so you do front crawl, breaststroke, or butterfly, back stroke, whatever stroke, your head is the first thing that the water makes contact with, right? And when you wear this swim cap, it just disperses the water evenly, so it feels like you're flying like a bullet in, in the water. So, yeah, it's, it's give and take, uh, depending on what you want, right? If you want to swim faster, if you want better performance, then yeah, wear this. If you want comfort, then don't wear this because it's tight, hurts your ears, and it just your head becomes really hot. So, if I do wear this in the water, I oftentimes take it off my head when I'm relaxing. Okay, so especially if I have to go to the sauna or the, the jacuzzi or world, the hot tub, I have to take this off. Okay, this is a requirement because you will you just overheat and you'll, you'll pass out. That's my take on swim caps. It's up to you what you want. Uh, give it a try, see if you like it. Uh, as for other materials out there, I don't really recommend anything else than this latex rubber here. This is the best, okay? Mesh 
is just like a sponge. It'll soak up the water. It just uh, it doesn't do anything. Okay, it won't help you. <laughs> okay, it's mesh is breathable, but in the long run, it doesn't do anything. You might as well wear a net over your head. So yeah, latex rubber. It's the best for trying to get if you want to get a swim cap. And I put a link down below on swim cap that I recommend for you guys if you are interested in buying one. But if you have short hair like me and if you can go without it, then go without it, okay? So <laughs> that's it for now. If you have a question, leave it down below and I'm going to take a shower, okay? Bye!